Hello guys, today we're going to learn how to pressure test your uh, cooling system, both your caps and your reservoir bottle and check for leaks. Uh, you're going to need to rent out this kit from Vance Auto Parts, it's a power built kit number 70 for the cooling uh, system tester kit. Uh, you're going to need three main things from this kit, that being uh, a number 3 I believe, uh, which is a yellow one, another yellow one that's already on the um, reservoir bottle, and you're going to need a uh, number 24 to test out your caps to see if those are building correct uh, PSI and as well the pump um, so there you go so once you put this in you screw that in um, and you obviously pump this up right to uh, 16 PSI just like it should you check for leaks check if everything's okay and then after you're done you just press the, the release valve right and then you just unhook same thing to test the cap, you screw it on till it clicks, and then same thing again. All right, and then this one, of course, should be 16 psi. One thing that I observed was that this one was only building about 13. After that, you get around 13. After that, it would you're gonna hear it, it's gonna leak out. Right, and so the funny thing is, this is a three or four year old one. The new one that came with the, the dormant cap, I mean the dormant reservoir, the cap, doesn't even hold uh, zero PSI. So I'm gonna go get a Ford one real quick, it's about $5. Um, it's really worth, uh, I guess, investment in your cooling system. Uh, since the lower the PSI to hold, it'll lower the boiling point. So yeah, that's about it guys, very short radio. Hope this helps you out. And then you release the uh, pressure.